So, one week out, the Liberal Party officially launched its campaign today. Joining me now is political reporter Andrea Crothers. Andrea, what was the vibe like in that room today? Well, Chris, if you look at the election as a bit of a grand final day or state of origin, the campaign launches, they're like a pre-show, but a pre-show only dedicated to one side. So you're surrounded by everyone that loves you, everyone that tells you how great you are, and you tell them exactly how great you're going to play when it comes to being on the day at that particular match. But it's also a bit of a time when you look at who's around, who's supporting them. So today there were a few noticeable absentees. Former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull was one of those. Not oh. Very, not very surpri unsurprising, though. <laughs> I did have one person in the coalition quip to me that, well, he's not voting for us anyway, so does it really matter? <laughs> there was also a stood-aside Cabinet Minister, Alan Tudge, who we've been told will be returned to the Education Ministerial position if they are re-elected. He wasn't anywhere to be seen. That's also not that surprising. Uh, but today he was backed up by former Prime Minister John Howard, the last PM to serve a full term, as well as former Prime Minister Tony Abbott. But there is also usually a big key policy pitch today when it comes to these campaign launches. So today the Liberals, they focused on housing. This has been a key election issue, particularly when you look at affordability and the risk at around affordability off the back of the pandemic. So this was about a super housing scheme, which effectively means that first home buyers, they can dip into their super savings, get up to $50,000 out or 40% of those super savings and then be able to purchase a house. It would be something which would be implemented from next July. And if you went to then sell the house, the profits would have to be returned to your super. So the coalition, they're saying this is a game changer. The former Prime Minister, Paul Keating, who introduced super, says this is a frontal assault. Economists are also concerned about it. But what was very noticeable today was the gear shift, this positive momentum that Scott Morrison is trying to keep up. Take a listen. As a Prime Minister, you pour your heart and soul into this job every single day. You do all you can to help Australians achieve their aspirations. You don't get everything right. I've never pretended that I have, but I tell you what, I never leave anything on the field. At least when it comes to housing, the super idea sounds a hell of a lot simpler than what we have with shared equity under Anthony Albanese. However, meanwhile, in Brisbane, the Labor Party, they were almost mimicking the Liberals with their own party rally, right? Chris, some would say mimicking, others might say potentially trolling. We do know, as you raised in your own editorial, there are questions over whether this is too little, too late in terms of when this campaign launch and this pivot, plus other policy pitches are coming out. But Labor, they held their own rally in Western Australia, the other side of the country, a little bit ago, but today it was the Liberals' turn. So Labor doing that. But we do know that Queensland is really important in terms of who forms the next government because currently the coalition, they go into this fight with 23 of the 30 seats in Queensland. It was what helped Scott Morrison secure his miracle election win in 2019. So this is one of those states to watch in terms of who will be leading our next parliament. And quite frankly, if Labor can't pick up seats here, it's going to have a really tough time forming a government in its own right. Yeah, you're not wrong part of the world. Andrea Crothers, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it.